graduated in um, 2007 as well as Justin, and um, I studied business management. And just, woo, yeah, is uh, Professor Sherwin here? I don't know. Shout out to him. Love him. Um, anyway, so I just had a great experience at Biola, and um, it's just kind of bittersweet to be back. And um, it feels like yesterday I was moving in to um, Hope, the dorm there. I lived on the first floor. Yeah, south. And, um, you know, now I'm in um, my roommate's weddings, and it just time flies. So embrace it, embrace it, um, because it will go by so fast. And um, just really honored to be here today and um, just to kind of share my story. Um, basically, let's see, after I graduated Biola, I didn't really know what to do with my life. Um, a lot of you seniors, I was right there in your shoes um, studying business. I was like, okay. It's kind of broad. I don't really know what I want to do, but ever since I was a young kid, um, I wanted to be a wedding coordinator. I was like, oh, J-Lo, she's so cool, you know? Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's what I want to do, but I'm going to Biola, so maybe one day um, that's what I'll be when I grow up. So anyway, I did what every, you know, college senior after they graduate do. I traveled, and um, I took a road trip in my Volkswagen for a few weeks um, with some friends, and then um, ended up in Hawaii, of all places. And um, <laughs> so I got there, I was like, perfect, I'll go to the beach and uh, work at night. And uh, I was like, thanks, Dad, um, college was great, and just going to enjoy life now. <laughs> So anyway, um, I got a job working at a restaurant, and, uh, you know, I just remember going home saying, God, like, is this really why I went to college? Like, is this what it was all about? Like, now I'm working at a restaurant? Um, so I, I worked, like, two days and then ended up quitting, and uh, <laughs> I was like, this is a great start to my, um, to my degree here. Um, but anyway, I got... After so many applications, I got a call back one day um, from a marketing department at um, the Ritz-Carlton. And uh, they're like, hey, can you come in for an interview? And I did, and I got the job on the spot. I was like, okay, this is great. I'm living in Hawaii. I'm working for a great company. Um, life couldn't be better. And uh, I worked in marketing for a few months and actually transferred um, into the wedding department at the Ritz-Carlton in Hawaii. I was like, wow, this is a dream job. You know, this is great. Um, I really had the headpiece, and the groom didn't show up. I feel like I've seen it all. <laughs> um, so that was just a great experience, um, just doing weddings and, like, living that dream. Um, but God really stirred in my heart um, just for missions and for Africa. And it was just, like, this strange feeling that kind of came over me. I was like, why? Why am I here in this beautiful place, but I can't really appreciate it? And um, my heart just really broke for the people in Uganda. Um, so I ended up um, quitting my job after a few weeks. Every day my roommate would be like, Julie, you quit your job today? I'm like, no, not yet. You know, soon. Um, so I finally got up the courage to quit my job. Didn't have anything planned. I was like, okay, God, you got me on this one. Like, you better come through, you know. And... Um, and he did. Um, he provided during that time of not really having a job. And I connected with some old friends um, from my church back here in California. And um, they started an organization called 31 Bits. And basically, they help um, displaced women in Uganda in a town called Gulu. Um, we have about 60 women that we have employed. And um, basically, they make jewelry out of recycled paper. And um, I know it doesn't really sound good, uh, but if you saw it, you would be like, wow, it's amazing, it's paper. Um, so anyway, I started doing some marketing for them in Hawaii and traveled throughout the islands and sold this beautiful jewelry. People loved it. And um, so I did that for a while. And I was like, God, what's next? Like, I thought I was going to go to Africa, but now I'm selling jewelry for Africa. Like, it just wasn't really clear. Um, so I kind of went along and planned friends' weddings, and it was in movies, and just did, like, random stuff. Like, I just, I would wake up and be like, okay, God, what's today going to look like? I have no idea. Um, it was, it was a stretching time in my life because I didn't know what was next. I didn't know what I was doing. I quit a great job. I was living in a beautiful place. Um, so I started applying. I was like, maybe it's time to get a real job again. Um, so I started applying for jobs, and it was just the economy just took a hit. And um, 
I got um, a call back from a church called Elevation Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, um, but Pastor Stephen Furtick. And uh, I took the job and moved from Maui, um, where I was living, to Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, <laughs> quite the change. Um, it was actually in the fall, so it was really, really pretty time of year. Um, so I did community outreach at Elevation and was able to do some marketing there as well. Pastor Stephen um, wrote a book called Sun Stand Still. I would totally recommend it. Um, just really changed the way that I view God and how I pray. Um, but it was just a, a great time doing outreach there and seeing uh, what a church is like and working for a nonprofit. Um, it's just a really, really good time. Um, so... During that time there, um, just doing outreach ministry, I um, got a call one day from a place called Tom Shoes. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. <laughs> um, but so I got a call, and they're like, hey, we really want to work with you guys. And um, we're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll plan something with Tom's. Like, everyone at our church loved Tom's. So we started planning an event, and it started just coming up in my mind, like, international business, Tom's, what does that look like? And I had asked him, hey, like, are you guys hiring? Like, because I would totally move out to back to California. So anyway, kind of prayed about it and uh, took the step of faith and moved back to California to start working for Tom's actually a few months ago. Um, so now I'm doing community outreach um, at Tom's Shoes. And um, basically, it was kind of neat looking at this map up here. And uh, I don't know if everyone can see it, but I look at that and I think every day they're doing shoe distributions. Um, every day kids are getting shoes and getting their needs met. And for me, um, just knowing that I have a part in that and reaching out to the community here, and I work a lot with churches now and nonprofits, um, and just raising momentum for how you can change and do your own one for one. It doesn't have to be a shoe for a shoe, but using that in your own space, in your own life and community. Um, so I just want to encourage you all, like, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm still a student. I'm always learning, and um, just life hasn't, hasn't been dull. There hasn't been a second where I'm like, wow, God, you're amazing. Um, you just continue to inspire me. Um, but I would just really encourage you to dream big and don't be afraid to just pray these audacious prayers and just keep praying it until it happens <laughs> because I never thought that I would be where I am today. And using my degree in business from Biola, which is a great experience and great background and, and knowledge um, into what I'm doing now with Tom's and um, so I just encourage you to do that and be around people that pull out your potential and um, really just bring out the character that you have and just your talents and abilities so that they can really be used. And every one of you is unique in your own way. And you don't, you don't need to change. And I'm just really blessed to be where I'm at today. And I don't know what next year is going to hold. <laughs> Hopefully I'll still be at Tom's, but we'll see. Um, so I just want to encourage you to um, just continue to love God and serve God with all you've got. So thank you. We hope you enjoyed this message. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Learn more at biola.edu.